Este, ¿cómo están haciendo? Hi, hi, my loves. How are you? How are you doing? So, as you have heard, <laughs> y'all, it's crazy. It is so crazy. So, Cardi B is literally lashing out at her fans, okay? So, all you stands, all you raggedy, gross Cardi B stands, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy because if you've been following my videos, you already know I ain't no Cardi B fan, definitely not a stan, right? I see all these people as regular human beings, regular, regular human beings. As a matter of fact, I was, I've been asking in my videos, uh, oh, this must be the reason why you haven't given us, uh, the public, something to assess as far as your second album, right? Never came, probably never will, right? So... But, you know, because I say and state my opinion and I say, you know, Cardi B, she likes Dookie on her face. You know, she likes Dookie on her face. <laughs> you know, here come her rag raggedy stands, her raggedy stands and fans after me. They try to come after me in the comment section. They trying to harass me. You see what I'm saying? And here Cardi B is telling y'all to shut the up. Shut the up. And I agree. I concur. I concur. Cardi B stands. Shut the up. Shut up. They the worst. You know, in some, in all my videos covering this, I've always said in my videos, I hate these stands so much. They suck so bad. It's like they literally have no life. They are so freaking creepy. They don't even realize how creepy they are when they come so hard for someone that they don't know. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's so weird and creepy. So now even the person that they're trying to come hard for has had enough of them. I mean, she had a full mental breakdown on, on IG. <laughs> I don't know who she's talking about. I don't know what places she's been looking at or what's been going on. But she said it, her own fans are the ones coming for her and her own fans are the ones that she's, she hates the most. Now in, in defense of the fans, of y'all fan, y'all fans, you know, in, in your defense, okay it seems to me that cardi b is epically stressed out because why are you coming after your fans like they're the ones that cheated on you <laughs> like they're the ones that publicly embarrassed you for years and years and years like they're the ones that you chose to have two kiddos with they didn't do that you chose that you chose that for yourself ma'am he keeps embarrassing you because you kept allowing him to do so you expect the public to pretend like the public is lying and just not say anything girl come on Okay, you have all that money and it comes at a price. Everything comes at a price, but she's losing it, y'all. She's losing it, calling out the fans. So y'all fans, you've heard her. She said, shut the up, shut up. So page six, every outlet is covering this. They all have it. So if you're trying to come for someone, you're going to have to go for all of them, right? But this is just the one that we're using because they had the video live in center on their page, the audio of Cardi B going off on her own fans, y'all. Oh my God, this, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> I can't sing, I can't sing. I'll spare you guys the rest, right? Yo, when I say, this is what I've been trying to tell her fans this whole time. Like, don't talk to me, don't come for me. I don't care. I'm gonna say whatever I want, period. I'm gonna say whatever I want because these fans and these stands, they make no sense. They're super epically weird, super weirdos. It's like, she, th these people don't even know you. Like, do you understand and realize how desperate and thirsty you have to be? She hasn't even made a second album in how long? And you don't want to tell her the truth? That she has Dookie on her face and she likes Dookie on her face? You don't want to tell her the truth? What, what, how does that make you a good friend? How does that make you a good fan? How does that make you a good stand? You trying to lie to this lady. You trying to lie to this lady. So only God knows what her stands and fans have been telling her. Because apparently she's had enough. I don't know what, what source she's looking at, but apparently she's had enough, y'all. She's had enough. She didn't come after the social media. She didn't come after the the uh, news articles. She didn't come. No, she said her fans. She told her fans to kick rocks, bro. <laughs>
threatens to delete social media amid, amid Offset reconciliation speculation. Well, she was getting so mad because people were like, are you back with Offset? Are you back with Offset? But it's like, does she not have a brain? Like when you post stuff with y'all together on Christmas, of course, people are going to be wondering because you've done it so many times before, right? It's literally your pattern. It's your pattern of behavior. You've done it so many times before. So people like this, they always do stuff for, to themselves. That they are the cause of their own issues and problems because at this point, we can't, really, we can't even blame Offset. I mean, he's never changed. Offset has never changed. It's your fault. Offset has never changed. His behaviors have never lied to you. Never. You are the one that chose to stay and stick it out and, and be there and, and harass the public with your back and forth, right? So, I mean, this is, it's on you. So now you lashing out at your fans. Although I'm thoroughly entertained and epically happy about it because these fans, they be harassing me too, you know what I'm saying? And they don't think that they're the Lulu, right? So now maybe at least they'll realize and understand like y'all, you all are the Lulu, you're the Lulu. So Cardi B lashed out at her fans for claiming she got back together with her estranged husband Offset. Well, why are you posting all that stuff if you don't want people, you know, talking about you and stuff like that? You know, it's an, do you not understand it's an intense moment right now for you? Because he got you out here in the public. He got you exploded out here in the public. Do you not understand the position that you are in, the position that you have, the position that you've been in? Ma'am, come on, be reasonable. Be reasonable. But I don't mind. I don't mind you. If you want to talk about your fans all day long, I love that. I love that. I love that. Because that means those th these fans will stop harassing the rest of us as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the I Like It rapper took to X on Friday to shut down the claims after she was seen in New York with her ex one day before. She was? <laughs> is that the Christmas? It couldn't be the Christmas one day before. This is the 29th. It just happened today. One day before would have been yesterday. Yo, she's defensive. She might be back with him. You never know because she's she's super defensive for someone that's supposedly not back with her ex, right? So she says, shut the F up, Cardi shouted. Did I say I was back together with somebody? Did I say mm, that? She further called out her fan base, claiming she doesn't see anybody else talking ass but her supporters. You know, it's always the supporters. They be acting like they support you, right? Yet they don't even have the nerve to tell you that you looking like you have dookie in your face and then stay out of it so that you can continue to make your own decisions. It's like, you can tell her she has dookie in her face and then just let her know like, hey, it's up to you, but you looking like you have dookie in your face right now. But no, the fans, they don't, that's not enough for them. These fans and stands, that's not enough for them, right? It's not enough for them to just state their opinion and move on, right? It's not enough for them to just be like, you look like you have dookie in your face. You look like you like dookie in your face, but you know what? You're going to do what you want to do, right? I just hope that you don't. I just hope that you don't. No, it's not enough. These fans and these stands, for some reason, feel like they have possession over property. And the property is said, um, said person that they're trying to live their own lives through. In this case, Cardi B. So they're complete psychos, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, she further called out her fan base by claiming she doesn't see anybody else talking S but her supporters. Did I say, did I say, and did he say it? No, she continued, leave me the F alone. She's gonna get back with him, y'all. She's gonna get back with him because she's getting too defensive about it. And she's gonna get back with him if she's not, if she's not already. And, um, you know, she's just gonna have to eat some more dookie, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that, that that's probably what's making her so nervous is that, look, he's probably trying to get her back. Um, I heard from the grapevine he was trying to sue her, that Offset was trying to sue her for some money um, and that he was claiming something. I don't know, but I didn't see anything enough that was enough for me to make a video on that that was verifiable or that I could use. So I was just like, hmm, that's interesting because if that's true, it's only a matter of time for that to come out on the news. All right. Anyway, several fans were quick to empathize with the WAP hitmaker, claiming it was impossible for her not to maintain an amicable relationship with Amigos rapper, given that they share two children together, Culture 5 and Wave 2. Then she has to say that. She has to say that. And being that she's in the situation that he, she's in and with the track record that she has for going back and forth, there is no other reasonable thing that you would expect for people to think and for your fans to think. I'm not even a fan and even I know that, right? I'm not a fan because I just view them as regular, regular I view them as worse than the general public, the things that they do, right? Imagine having Dookie on your face this many times and you still ain't learned. It's like, do you, I mean, is, is, are the brain cells functioning? You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, like, but she has to understand that you have to communicate these things because of your role, because of your role. If you want any type of semblance of peace, you have to communicate, at least post something, you know, yeah, I know, I, we, we, I understand what it might look like, but, you know, we have to kind of work out the details being that we have two kids together. And then people would be like, oh, okay, that would bring you a lot more peace than you not saying nothing and then just assuming that don't nobody gonna say nothing when you are such a public figure, you know, you see what I'm saying? You know, but it probably is her fans because I didn't even know she was she had been seen with offsets. I don't track it like that unless it's major enough and important enough. I'm not all up in like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, it has to be major enough. So uh, that's probably where that's coming from as far as it's her fans. Like, you know, her, the fans and the stands be tracking every movement, calculating, calculating every single little movement that might have not even hit the news yet. They there. 
you know, on, on, on her Instagram, on her social media, harassing. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, they have children together. They can't be just out of each other's lives because they have kids together. So they have to co-parent. One person commented under the video. They have children and another echoed. They can't just be seen they cannot just see each other or they can't not just see each other i feel bad for her she's clearly stressed and fans keep making it worse <laughs> yeah no kidding fans always make it worse it's crazy i couldn't do it um ain't worth it i like this picture uh but is that cardi b or is that the look like oh that's that's cardi b because i see the tattoo now yeah i begin confused between all these women that offset has slept with anyway <laughs> cardi's cardi's breaking point comes after a fan posted separate selfies with her and offset 32 in nyc on thursday oh oh uh, a fan posted separate selfies with her and offset 32 in nyc thursday Bruh. the former couple's uh, outing comes after the Grammy winner denied getting back together with her estranged husband after they spent Christmas together with their kids. On Wednesday, a viral tweet by at the pop feed claimed Cardi, Cardi B has officially took offset back after 12 days. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they hold they hold their hands in that picture, bro. A close friend of Cardi then responded to the tweet with a video of the Real Housewives Atlanta star Candy Burrs telling former castmate Portia Williams, you just made that up. Let me see something. They're holding hands in this picture. How could she go off like that when the Bodak Yellow rapper who who wed Offset in 2017 then seemingly shut down the rumors by linking the clip or liking the clip, sorry. Meanwhile, Cardi confirmed that she had split from Offset during an Instagram live earlier this month and she addressed claims her husband cheated on her with fellow rapper Christiane Rock to which she said she does not think so. She do you don't think so when he shit on you like a million other times with a million other people? <laughs> Dummy. All right, let me see. This is the second time that she has rejected rumors of getting back together with Offset. But you holding hands and stuff. I don't understand. I don't care to find out because I've been single for a minute now, she said, and I just don't know how to tell the world. Girl. I want to start 2024 fresh and open. She continued, I'm curious for a new life, a new beginning. I'm excited. She sounded a lot healthier there. And I think that shook Offset. That must have scared him. Because, you know, um, people like that, people like Offset, they don't like losing control. And so if she sounds like she's regaining some type of control of her over her life, then, of course, he's going to come back in and start manipulating her all over again uh, with her own emotions right anyways y'all let me know what you think about this whole thing this was like a mad 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 funny super super funny story to me because i'm like oh well, there you go that's what i've been trying to tell her fans so maybe now they'll listen you see what i'm saying but people people defending her oh they have kids blah 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 it's like yeah they have kids but if the math ain't nothing so y'all, uh, yeah, go ahead and smash the like button, all right? Go ahead and smash the uh, subscribe button for me, all right? Ah, thank you so much, all right? And leave it in the comments below what your thoughts are on this particular subject. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.